Chain of Sea with Flex Southeast Asia, and we're here today with Ross um, Flores and Arlene Hansen. And uh, we're, we just caught up with them. Now, the ladies have actually competed in the Arnold Amateur for Bikini, and we're just going to ask them a few questions. All right, so how did you ladies first get started in Bikini? Well, actually, my husband uh, is uh, into uh, this lifestyle, so start dated. Um, he actually bought me a membership at the Bulls gym, so and that's how I actually got started. And uh, his goal is to compete, but his job is to uh, has too much. Uh, like, like it's, it's complicated, it's, you know, time, it's, you know, and food. But I told him that well. I have a lot of time so I'll just do it for you so it actually motivates me and push me to get to where I am right now and that's why I'm just like, hey. <laughs> and you get started? Oh, to me, um, my husband brought me at the gym and I started working out and I told him I'm, I'm already skinny and I don't want to have to work out. <laughs> He was like, oh, you have to do a uh, pump muscle a little bit. I don't really have uh, a sore, and then I can get up in the morning, and I'm so tired. But when I went to the show and watched these old girls, and you know, they look awesome, they got nice, you know, body and everything like that, I said, you know what? I think I could do it. So now I start my workout, and then I wake up early in the morning to the and then go to the gym and work out, and now I can feel national. So. So, well, you were talking about your husband, and um, how how supportive is the rest of the family when it comes to um, for the sport, getting ready, getting prepped, and um, getting ready for the competitions? Actually, my mom and uh, you know has Filipino, my my dad, you know, wearing a bikini in the public is like a little too much, but he got into like accepted, he accepted it. But my mom and the rest of the families are like awesome. They call everybody all the Filipinos and you know because we're in, from San Antonio and even in, in the Philippines our family knows what I do uh, and they're very supportive they text me they Facebook message me and so they're just proud that what I you know where I'm at now so yeah it's awesome it's a great feeling you know but yeah yeah my husband support me my kids and um, my sister so I mean they're happy they like told me like oh my god um, because I was on home. so then that's we're in bikini <laughs> <laughs> so um now we're gonna be talking a little bit more about the training. How's your training like? Um like take us a day of where you're gonna be training as well as how's your day going to out Well actually training for the Arnold is a lot easier. Uh, training I didn't really do much cardio because my body really I lose you know I, my metabolism is just so fast that you know my my weight keep dropping and even my food you know eat a lot but it's it's I mean this the training that I did for this Arnold it was I love it I have like a lot of rest but it's still you know you still have to work hard same here yeah so you're telling me you look like this all the time like every day Oh, oh, actually, no. no. <laughs> like, well, we, have, we have off season, you know. Yeah. So yeah. if we're not working out, but if, if we if we um, compete, so we have to, you know, prepare. <laughs> so how is your training like compared to when you're off season? Off season? Yeah. Well, we're actually have more cheat meals. <laughs> you know, we could eat a little bit of whatever we want, but in moderation. <laughs> like the, uh, but even I'm, I'm off season, I still eat. You know, at least six to seven times a day, uh, because I wanted to stay. Uh, you know, my metabolism. Because once you know, I don't want to retrain my body again to be eating six to seven times. I want to stay there. So if I, if I uh, decided to compete in like ten weeks, I could do it. You know, I don't have to like wait twenty weeks, twelve weeks. You know, to be in good shape. So what's your? Uh, what would you say would be the magic? Or the secret to your success? Uh, just stay focused, have a goal, um, and just never set a limit. Uh, you know, anything is possible if you believe in yourself. And I always take that in my mind because no one can help you except yourself. Yes. You know, the support of your Yeah, it has to be 
really like um, avoid uh, determination, like you have to motivate yourself. So I mean, I have to do this because if you don't have, if you don't have motivation, so how are you gonna, you know, get your goals? You know, well, work. I'm competing my pro card, so that's what my, that's my goal uh, this year. I want my pro card very, very bad. Oh, awesome! <laughs> well, I'm 42 years old. Yeah, yeah. I have two kids. You know, two kids. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So, uh, what are your plans for the future? Are you competing? What are you competing next? And what do you get to see? Oh uh, well, actually, I just talked to my coach, uh, Gemma Crosby. Hi. <laughs> uh, she uh, in three weeks there is a show in Maryland, so I uh, since I'm already in the competition body, so I wanted to go get on May no March 22nd at the Baltimore Gladiator. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'll be going to uh, do the Europa in the uh, Florida Orlando. Uh, in March 12, like 11, I think it's 11 or 10, 12. So those, and then I'll be flying to Philippines in June to do the uh, Gemini Crosby show. Oh, awesome! So those are the three uh, three shows that I have right now. So I'm not sure what else. I, you know, I have to talk to my coach. <laughs> what you think? How about you, Arlene? So I'm planning to compete uh, Team Universe in July 18. I'll do like four. So I have two shows coming up for Team 18. It's a pitch work. It's both national, so that's what I'm um, planning. So, awesome. And Gemma, too, um, she knows already. So. Awesome. So <laughs> well, here we are. We caught up again. And well, ladies, uh, tell me um, a little bit. Okay, um, internationally, when you're competing internationally, Asians typically have a smaller structure. Um, however, there are key components to look into, so uh, to make sure that you are still competitive internationally. So if someone actually started wanting to do a bikini, like what would you think they should, how can they get started, um, how they can even um, look into this? Uh, hire a coach, get a coach, and before you hire a coach, you actually wanted to ask them, you know, their background, because if they can't, there are so many trainers out there that, you know, they're, they're a trainer, they know. but specifically you wanted to, you want, you want, you want to know if they actually train a bikini before because not everybody can can actually get actually get to uh, that body. You know what I mean? It's yeah. hard, you know, you gotta you gotta make sure that your trainer is know what, what he or she's doing. Yeah, it's true. Because even us, I mean uh, she eat different and I eat different because we have different body. Yeah. So, yeah. We have different needs. Yeah. So. Well you know you also have friends who are um, non Asians as well. Mm -hmm. How what would you say how your is your how different is your training compared to theirs or like your nutrition compared to theirs? Um big difference. But because it depends on uh, some people their metabolism is faster than the other. So for me, because I don't really know how you know their nutrition, but but before we we used to have a coach, so we kind of all eat the same thing, you know. So it's it's not really um, that's one thing that when you're in a group, uh, a team, uh, it's hard to focus on one person. So if you have actually a trainer that can focus on you, and that's that's the best that's the best way to do it. So what would you advise your fellow Asians to come on board and uh, get? Uh, get started with this. What would you say um, might be a key factor for them just to keep holding on to this so they can be very successful? Just stay focused. Uh, have set a goal and um, and again, the food, you know, you gotta train your body to eat the right food because, you know, as, as an Asian, brown rice, I mean, white rice versus the brown rice is totally different. different. But if you train your, you know, eating brown rice slowly, so when you get to the point that, you know, I have 12 weeks to really prepare for my competition, then, you know, and sometimes, you know, I don't like it, but I have to eat it because I don't eat to, to for taste, actually, eat to fuel my body because and that's the that's the key to get the success to have that body you know to step on the stage and drink a lot of water 
If you're hungry, just drink water. You carry a gallon of water every day wherever you go. Yeah. Even I'm driving or eating or drinking or work, just yeah. the car, just drink water. Yeah, no excuses. Don't, you know, drink excuses. Water. Yeah. You know, if you really want it that bad, you will do anything, sacrifice anything, you know. Go um, eat it. Yeah. So, how long do you stay at the gym? Do you live at the gym? Oh, God, um, really? <laughs> Do we have to start there? <laughs> we, uh, we, we work out together. Sometimes we stay like in hours, but we have to relax though. So yeah, right? well like for the past few uh, few weeks, weeks uh, we actually wake up. We actually stays at the gym because in the morning, she goes there before I do because she always, you know, she's always available on that yeah, like 4 o'clock p.m. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but the, uh, typically we stay at the gym for five hours, but we do everything. But we go do our we stretch and we do legs or if it's leg day then we do legs and then we go rest and eat and then we rest do and then we go practice and then we do our cardio so we try to finish it because you know time is very limited for us but it's really we just i do my cardio in the morning and then i go home and eat and then relax and then go back to the this like every day that you have to be at the gym? Monday to Friday. Friday. Yes. So what exactly do you have in your fridge? Steak. Lots of asparagus. Asparagus. <laughs> um, salad, right? Yeah, we and do. Turkey. We have a lot of sweet potatoes. Um, <laughs> Uh, brown rice. Actually, um, white potato uh, is actually one of my favorite pancakes. The whole wheat pancakes. Oh god, didn't say that. So I'm gonna try it right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can't have that. So. Yeah, so those are the, you know, uh, and lots of oatmeal. The original <laughs> And yeah. And my favorite is like flax oil. Put it on my, uh, my, uh, yeah. Yeah, so those are the. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for your time and good luck again for competitions. <laughs> so I hope all the Filipinos, uh, you know, could join us. To be, you know, yeah. so our you know fitness uh, outlets gonna be. Yeah, more we need more. We, we need, need more, more Asian athletes. People, yeah. We need more Asian. 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 What are those? We're just gonna. So when we post, we're just twist it a little bit and then. I'm sure I am. Then, let's go with this. And then, let's try. She's like, <laughs> like this. <laughs>